Everybody, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio, and yes, this was recorded right after the purple video. <laughs> I figure I better get it done, because daytime around here with two barking dogs is just too hard to record. All right, so this is the last of the color um, signatures. This will be its own little book. This is the yellow, orange, red miscellaneous book. So, like, I... I think this might have been the first one I did where I put the little pieces in here like this. This is a pocket. These are all leftover pieces. I didn't create anything new to make this. And I glued it, sewed them, and then glued them in here. But the other one, it was too bulky. This one's not as bad. I think I learned... I The first one was this one, I think, and then the other one came later. I thought, oh, well, it needs more stuff, and then it got so bulky that it was hard to close, so that's how come I needed the closure on that. This one doesn't need it because I didn't put a lot of thick things in here. I see I missed a page. Two. <laughs> Two. This is just a leaf I had created, and I ran through the Xyron or Soup Wang, and it just, it's a sticker. This was part of, nope, not that one. It's part of my, whoops, part of my doodle things where I just take random bits and I do things to them and I leave them in the drawer. When I need a little something, I just glue it on there. I wanted to tell you guys about this. I was thinking while I was waiting for the camera to load that this is leftover paper from that book, uh, the book guts about the fairies and elves that I got sent. And I borrowed, no, this is... This is my stamp. So this, this numbers, these numbers came off of this. This is a planner uh, set of stamps. And then this came from that set. These are these numbers right here. But how cool is it that it, it looks great on the brown aging paper? I love the way that looks. I think this is one of my favorite looks. All right, so there's that. Then um, this is a made sort of, it's a pocket, but it's got vellum in it, and I use leftover scrapbook paper. Again, I did not create anything new to create this. These were all bits and pieces. And look, there's a tab <laughs> where you can pull it out. And there's a random uh, doodle I did. This is just some random card. And it's a little hard to get back in the vellum without... There we go. This is another flower that I learned how to make from G. Kerr. All right, this came about because I had a bunch of these text 3D flowers that someone gifted me the, um, a friend gifted me the, I think it's Sizzix who does it. Anyway, it's one of those 3D things where it embosses it and cuts it out at the same time. So I had them and I thought, I want to use the flower, but I don't need how big it is. So what I did was I took the flower and cut it in half because I think this this is two flowers. I cut them in half and I glued them just, or I darkened them with the walnut stain from, um, you know, Mr. Holtz, Ranger. And then um, I... I glued around here, and then I found these stickers from, I think they might have been Wish. And they still have the, the um, cellophane-y stuff on the back. And then I just put the stickers in here to make these little tiny pockets. And they're all just little stickers. I didn't want to stick them in, but I wanted to use them like tickets in here. And this is also a sticker, the shape of a bookmark. Ta yeah, bookmark. All right, so I made this a while ago, and I think I had a poor choice. The vellum is too opaque, but this is a flower that I pressed last summer from my backyard, and then I laid it on brown cardstock. I don't know if I glued it. I don't remember. I think I might have had to put a teeny bit of glue to keep it from moving. Then I sewed the vellum over it and made it into a pocket. And then this is just um, two leftover things from yet another project that I didn't put them in. So I just put this on 
um, leftover cardstock and I wrote down information about orchids on the back. This is just a tag. But at least I have this on here to grab it with. <laughs> I don't have to use tweezers. <laughs> okay, these are bits and pieces that are thrown together. This is one of those stickers that's in here from that collection. And I just stuck it on there. This is a belly band from a leftover piece that was like this. This is from iCAD from whenever I made iCAD, all the 61 tags. This is a random piece that I did not use. This stencil, number stencil, uh, I think it's a Tim Holtz stencil with the numbers on it. This is not the stamp like what I used on the uh, coffee dyed or the, the, the stuff here. It's not, it's not the same. But I do love those numbers, though. I'm crazy about those things. Okay, um, this was a flower stamp I had, and I just stamped it on some paper, and I didn't like the way it looked because the, the ink really absorbed and spread in the paper. So I thought, well, I can't really use it because it, it just, I don't know, it was some weird reaction with the paper. So I stamped it, and I just cut around the edges of it, hoping it wouldn't look too fuzzy, and it looked fine. This is just a vellum envelope with Velcro where I had other stuff stored in it and then I decide not to use that storage system but I hate to waste these envelopes because it took a lot of time to cut these and sew them. All right and here where you can get your hand in <laughs> are just different stickers and little doodle things and I just put them in there so you can see through and it the colors kind of went with everything. And then I used a flower for a tab and then there's my stuff on the side this just made me so happy. One side is butterflies, one side is bees. These butterflies were gifted to me, so I did everything bee and butterfly related that I could. There's one of those flowers that I didn't like the way it's stamped. This is from a stencil. This uh, is from letter stamps that I have and I stamped it on there and didn't use it in something else. Almost all of this stuff were pieces that came from other things that I didn't use them put so I put them all in little collections in those vellum in the vellum pockets and then decided I need a sturdier pocket that the vellum was not holding up from me opening and closing them constantly to look for things so I went to a different um, a different storage system let me show you so this is what I went with I went with the ones the storage uh, the stamp stuff and so I store my ephemera according to the category, like all these little brown ticket things. They're all stored in one. They're all in the same envelope together. I don't have like tickets in one place and round stuff the other place. They're more sturdy. So this was, um, I just made this. And again, it's, I have the die cut for it. And I've had it for like, I don't know, eight years, 10 years. It's supposed to be like a Polaroid. And then I stamped numbers on another piece, random piece, just glued it to the back. Ta-da. This is just a, uh, this, this is not a rub-on. This is a random piece of scrapbook paper that happened to go nicely with the colors. And this is a butterfly that was a cutout. This one was a butterfly with a cutout, but you know, when you put it, I put him on the paper and I didn't really center him very well. So, um, one of my friends sent me rub-ons and they've got tons of butterflies on them. So I just did a, the, I think it was like a column of butterflies and I just cut them off and, and used the rub-ons here. These are also cut out butterflies. They're so pretty. On paper that is stenciled and coffee dyed and then I sewed it and, and this was the coffee dyed paper thing was already made and then I just glued that on a piece of cardstock to give it a little more oomph and then I glued the butterflies on there. This is just butterflies that are glued onto the actual page itself and then they all went in the pocket for the bee for butterfly. I just love this page. I think this is probably one of my better creations. It's a little more coordinated. It's not harem scarum. All right, this is bees. This is a 
leftover piece of paper. This is from a stamp. This is a strip of this turned, uh, well, it's a strip of this right here. And then I took it and just cut it, you know, to make it look like it was runny. I got this giant butterfly. I, is it a, it's not a rub on, it's, oh, it's a photo. It's printed on something. I don't know where I got this from. I can't remember. Someone may have given it to me, and I'm sorry, but I can't, I don't remember. So I put it on again, that, that scrapbook paper that I've used throughout here, and colored them in with a, a little bit of yellow um, colored pencil. This is a cutout and stamp set. This is a stamp and stamp, and so I stamped them on brown cardstock and then glued them on there together. Again, this is the same paper as this, just the opposite sides. It looks like honeycomb, so I thought I should use it. This is the tab. So I had two of these right here, and I hated to, I couldn't, I don't know, it didn't, didn't stamp well towards the bottom, so I thought, well, I can use the top part for the tab. So I put that on there, and there's another version of a B on the same paper. And then he just slides in here, and I'm learning to use these tabs because I'm not digging my stuff out with tweezers and a ruler anymore. Oh, this is a giant rub-on. So beautiful. I just love rub-ons. Looks like wallpaper. That well, looks so cool. All right, there's that. And then again, I just use a flower as a tab. This one I tried to make coordinated with the other side. This is a giant picture of a sunflower that I got off of Flickr. All I did was paste it on the paste, glued it on the um, cardstock that I used on the other page. This is from a stencil that my friend lent me, and I used that for a pocket because it was a leftover piece. Then I did the um, alphabet with the stencil on that paper from the fairy book. This was a picture of a sunflower that came off a of flicker, and all I did was color it, glued it on a piece of cardstock, used my stamper, and stamped the word sunflower. This is an envelope where I did, these are not sunflowers, but I did play on the theme of yellow flowers. And this was a leftover piece of, um, coffee dyed paper where I printed off my flowers on here and then I hand colored the rest of it. This is a rose that was left over from yet another thing I didn't use it in. Went ahead and glued it on some brown cardstock and used it this way. Um, this is my handwriting on, I don't know what this is. I think this is cardstock. All right, so now, yeah, so now we're getting into some of the orangey stuff because I had some orange, and I like orange. I just don't like in-your-face orange. So I took, again, stuff that was the strips that I did from this my friend's stencils. Um, this is a, f now I did create this brand new for this project. I took the flower, I drew it, I made sure it was glued on, and you can see where it was used because there, whoops, you can't see that. It's pencil marks on the back there. Um, just a random piece of orange cardstock. Put the uh, acetate on it, sewed around it, use sorry ribbon, and it's a tag. I put the belly band, which is matches this right here. It was left over. I had a doodle flower and glued that on there. Made another one of these little things. This was already, I already had the flower glued on this paper. All I did was sew the acetate on and then put the sorry ribbon at the top. This is a little book. I already had these made and they already had the backing on them. I'll show you in a second. And this was uh, some, oh, I made master sheets for um, a project at Le Cafe, Le Cafe Craft with Patricia. And she was teaching us how to make master boards of scrap paper. So I scanned every one I made. And this is one of the scanned ones. The funny thing is, is this is brown paper, but my color cartridge was going and it made it an orange color. So I thought, oh, this is perfect. 
make lemonade out of lemons. So I made a little book. This is a doily I did on coffee dyed paper. I did not mean to use that in there, but too late. It's just coffee dyed paper at all. It's all it is. It's just a little book, little journal. All right, so this side is some more bees. I had leftover bee stuff. This is a stencil I sewed, glued on the brown cardstock. This is leftover. This came from G. Kerr, where she made these really cute book, uh, what do you call them? It's, it's kind of like a, kind of like a bookmark, except for, you, uh, now I did glue all this together, but the top, one slides over the page to hold your place in your book so you don't dog ear the page. You just slip this over two pages. The little heart goes in the front and the big heart goes in the back. No paper clip. It just slips over it because it's kind of just glued up here at the top. It's so cute, but I had it left over and I hate wasting them, so I stuck it in there. Again, this is more butterfly stuff. This is a butterfly. Bumblebees. Bees. Be sweet. And this was just a random piece of paper that already had brown on it. And I figured, you know, why waste it? So it just says be sweet. And it's in the belly band. With a, I think this, if I cut, yep, I cut this one out and cut that one out. I think I stamped these. And then I have a, a miniature, one little bee in a stamp set. It's not a set, it's just one bee. And then I stamped it all over this um, honeycomb looking paper. Front and back. Oh, some bee leftover bee stuff. I stamped this on vellum. This is stenciled, sewed around it, made a pocket. This was random paper glued onto, actually I made this and then I glued it onto brown cardstock. This was one of those leftover hearts that I had glued together. And then this was a doodle that I had cut out and set aside somewhere. More of the honeycomb paper. I think this is a Tim Holtz stencil. One of the one of the long stencils. I make them. I have a small one and a large one. Then I made this little book, and that's what makes this thing so fat is stuff like this. So I did leftover paper. This is a doodle. This is a pocket with a tab on the top of this. And then this opens into um, deli paper. And these numbers are tags, or <clears throat> excuse me, these are numbers that came from tickets where I used the ticket part and didn't use the number. So I found my little um, section of little envelope of numbers and I used it in here for page tabs. There's part of a ticket, part of a ticket. And there's a ticket where the, a number had been cut off, like that one right there. Same type thing. And it's just random jelly printed paper with, um, I drew the flowers and then printed them off on vellum and hand colored them. This is a stamp. I used watercolor. This was a fodder thing, and I just went ahead and um, glued it on there for a tab. Then this is lace. I liked the pattern, but I didn't want to put all that lace in here. So I just cut off a section and just glued it on there. Found this little butterfly. I don't... Has he got glossy accents? No, I found this butterfly in something and glued it on there. Used leftover paper for a tab. This is a... Um, coffee dyed doily. Let me see if I can do this without ripping it up. And then, nope, let's don't do that. Then you can slide something in here. Like that. You can put a piece of paper in there. This was um, something I had scrolled away. Most of this stuff is just leftovers from other projects where I didn't know what to do with them, so I saved them thinking that I will use them sooner or later. And sure enough, I did. All right, so this was more dedicated towards the orange stuff. There's the orange flower. This was a stamp I had, and I just cut it out and glued the paper on there. Another belly band from that uh, piece of, from this, leftover from cutting this. So I use it for a belly band. 
again, it's a sticker I made a while ago. It's watercolor and I didn't know what to do with it, so I put the sticker on it. This is leftover paper, so I made a little tiny envelope with it. There's nothing in there. And there's another little envelope. Again, nothing's in there because if I have to dig it out with my no fingernails, it's going to be ugly. So I put those in there and this. This is a um, side pocket paper clip and inside there is another one of these type things. And I just put it on a ticket or, or a tag and squiggled around it and that was it. I mean, I didn't really do much to it. It just slides in the side. And then again, leftover in cuts on paper. I just doodle on them. This side was more yellow flower related. I had this giant stamp. So I, I watercolored it and then stamped it on there. And then I went back and drew lines on it to get a little more definition. This is Korean book text where I made a little pocket. There's nothing in here. And I wanted to, and, and then I didn't glue the back of it so I can also use it for, you know, something else. Sometimes I get smarter as I go, sometimes I don't. <laughs> All right, so there's that page. And then this one was, again, leftover stuff from um, Flickr. All I did was glue it onto brown cardstock, browned it up, printed some words on some paper, glued it on there. That's it. This is just a pocket from, again, that paper that was supposed to be brown, but the printer, you know, the color cartridge was going bad. This is just a doodle that I did on watercolor paper while I was playing around with stuff and put it in there. This is a sticker. Again, just more doodle stuff. Okay, so just pretend like you don't see this part here. <laughs> we'll just pretend that doesn't exist. This is a flower from die cuts from a Sizzix set or Ranger or Tim Holtz, I don't know. This came out of a magazine, so I glued it on there. Then I... Um, glued this on there. I think I probably should have put glossy accents on it because it looks very dull and unexciting. All right, so I glued this on first before I did anything else because I liked the paper, but unfortunately the paper doesn't really go with anything else here. And I hated the inside, so I lined it with cardstock and sewed it. And then I had on one of those digi prints that I've had for like I don't know, 10, 12 years when I did the pocket letters. This was one of the digi prints that I bought from somebody on Etsy. So I printed it off on cardstock, just put it in here because, you know, it was yellow flower. But the rest of this is too busy for the rest of it. And again, this is a closure that I think I learned from G. Kerr. Keeps the envelope closed. So that's it. So here are all my signatures in their neat little place that have already overgrown the, <laughs> the cover I was going to use. So now I've got to experiment and learn how to sew different kinds of covers. So then when I get done doing the covers, I will come back and just show the covers that went over these things. There was something else I was going to show you guys, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, mercy. Oh, I know now. Okay, so you know all those little flowers that I had that I said were stickers? This is where they came from. I made a whole bunch of flowers and then I punched them out with the shape punches that I have because I didn't want to waste stuff, so I just punched them out, ran them through the Xyron, and I keep them in these little cellophane bags. All the blue flowers have that. I know what the content is. That way, when I need something, when I tell you I, you know, I save stuff, I am not kidding. Oh, here's those ones that were kind of pale when I put them on the purple paper. And then I went back and I drew the lines that are on here a little bit darker so they showed up better. This was not, this is just vellum that I cut out. I didn't make these stickers. Um, let's see, what else is in here? 
Oh, then I have a blue hydrangea. I just got random. They're just stickers. The Xyron. That's it. And so when I need a little something, I just go look into this little box that has all these. There's all those leaves that were in the. These are all the leaves that I cut. These are like, I don't know, a year old. I Believe me, I don't try to make new stuff when I have a ton of other things I could use as embellishments. These are just leftover bags. I put them in the little cup. And there we go. Oh, but wait, there's more. <gasps> there's another cup. <laughs> oh my God, there's like crazy amount of flowers. Here we go. Blue circles. Light blues. Pink. More yellows, orange, red, blue, miscellaneous, and then these, my, one of my favorite ones. I love these. I like making these one-offs. They really are really pretty in person. And then I just put them in a little bag, and then one day when I'm doing a project, I'm like, oh, it needs a little flower, and then I go through these... I go through these little cups that are up above my desk on a shelf so that I see them and they're in my face and I can use them. I think that's the key for me is I need to see stuff in order to use it. I would love not to have everything in my face, but I know I'm the kind of artist that if I don't see it, it doesn't exist. Okay, that's it. I will see you guys in another video in the future. Don't know what it's going to be. Well, I have an idea. Anyway, thanks for coming by. See you guys later. Bye.